Good morning. Look at my eyelashes for this early in the morning. <laughs> I'm just getting ready because we are going to shoot the Dolce & Gabbana video, Instagram video. Although it's taken me ages to get ready this morning. I've been here, it's now 10.07 and I sat down to do my makeup at nine. And I just kept having like call after call. <laughs> and now I'm like still here, <laughs> still doing my makeup. I haven't even done like an intense smoky eye or anything to like justify that time. Anyway, oh, we've also been working on another Instagram video. So that's why, okay, right. I'm just gonna do a little bit of contouring to my nose. I'm using Benefit Hula to contour, which is like honestly the best contour powder ever. Anyway, if you didn't know, I am uploading every other day throughout for vlogmas so welcome back to vlogmas day <laughs> no idea what day it is <laughs> i'm literally obsessed with my eyeshadow if you look at the shimmer it's from this palette the urban decay oh look at those shades they're so pretty can you see that better stunning i think they're absolutely gorgeous i have really dry lips at the moment and i don't know what is going on with them but they're so dry i never really get dry lips like that dry that they're like flaking off i think i'm just like haven't been taking good care of them to be honest but now i'm putting on lipstick i was like so i'm gonna put on lip balm i'm like oh, oh bye oh my little lip cheek i think i should be the official ambassador for lip cheat and pillow talk i feel like there's no video <laughs> there where i haven't spoken about it ever it's just so good i wore iconic nude the other day and it just didn't look as good as pillow talk like pillow talk is my shade i'm also really kind of in love with this by terry lip gloss thing it has like a funny bauble at the end Ooh, just whack this around and i just put it in the center because it's quite nude but it's really balmy right need to sort out my fringe it's actually an x fringe now it used to be a fringe and now it's like a growing out situation so i need to do that and then we'll start filming <laughs> So I have dressed my room, <laughs> it looks a little bit like this, getting ready to film. Are you coming? Oh, with a sock. That's fantastic. He's just realized that I've seen he has a sock and he's like thinking, do I go in with the sock or do I turn around with the sock or <laughs> where'd you find that? <laughs> Where did you find that, Duke? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> anyway. I basically have all the stuff that I use down here because I don't want this to be in the video like my random <laughs> lady bird and tissues and stuff. And I have bunnies on the chair over here. I don't think I'm going to set up any lights because I want it to feel kind of warm and festive in the video. Oh, my hair is still being weird. So I don't think I'm going to set up any studio lights because then it will just kind of like defeat the purpose of the like warm Christmassy vibes. So yeah, going to do that now. I also need to pick what I'm wearing, but I recently got these amazing over the knee socks and I've been wearing them so much. So I I think I might wear those. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Oh my God, today is the day of phone calls, guys. Hold on. Hello? The shoot is in full swing. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. And I've covered the bed in fairy lights. <laughs> guys, we're done. That took way longer than I actually thought it would and it will be up on my Instagram later this week but look this is my secret of how i bribed duke to be in my instagram videos i hide liver treats like in between the pillows good job pups you're a good posy puppy Mwah. you're a good poser right he's too preoccupied now i like had to get him excited so i was like playing with bunny in this video and now he's like oh yeah bunny i love my bunny it is so cold literally a little ice cube Serious. And I'm in so many layers. I'm wearing two jumpers underneath this and a vest and I have my gloves on. Anyway, I'm walking Duke. Where is he? There he is. I literally just drove past my mom. I mean, my mom drove past me and I like saw her and waved at her. So I think I'm gonna go over to hers after and see what she's up to. Excuse me, what are you doing? Sniffing? Come on then, sniffs. Guys. <laughs> When Duke wants to go home, he does this thing where he just follows me. So if I like walk in a zigzag, he'll follow me in a zigzag. I need to try and film that. Hold on. He's like, I'm so over this walk. I want to go home and get some snacks. 
back at my mum's. She's not here yet, so let's raid her fridge. It's always so well stocked. Hmm, except it doesn't really seem to be anything that I want to eat. I mean, isn't this just the biggest fridge you've ever seen? Look at the freezer. What shall we have as a snack? No, I don't feel like fruit. No, definitely no vegetables. I'm not gonna film inside your cupboard. Okay. I just wanna show the shoes. Your camel toe is so on screen right now. <laughs> I'm gonna block it with my head. You always have a camel toe. <laughs> if Hannah was here now, she'd be dying. Anyway, I was just going through my mom's cupboard, seeing her new in. Oh my gosh, I've never seen those before either. Look at these shoes. They have little flowers on the back. Aren't they so sweet? When have you ever worn these? I've never seen them before. Now she's hiding because I made fun of her girl. <laughs> it was so obviously sulky about the camel toe. Do you even know what a camel toe is? I don't need to explain it in front of um, No, but do well, you know what it is? Yes, I do. Okay, talk us through your latest shoes. Wow, these are pretty. Look, oh. How does this go? It balances on the shoe box? It does, yes. By the heel? By the heel. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, and it doesn't fall off. It doesn't, okay, yeah. that's good. Because I was worried that, you know, you'd open the cupboard and everything would fall on top of you. But that's that really good to know. That. That's really good to know. What are these? You're really into the pump ATM. I'm really into velvet. I mean, just based on like how I'm picking things up, just realize like what's going on behind you right now. Oh my god, you bought these? Yeah. Aren't these Zara? They're fantastic. They're so comfortable. Did you copy Hannah? Uh, no, I actually copied Chloe. Really? Yeah. They're really cute. Okay, what else can you show us in your cupboard of doom? And we really need to imagine it down your cupboard. I know, one day, not now. But when? Can we set a date? Okay, I mean, it's honestly January. dumb. No, why January? Honestly, January is like... What sales? Well, these are cute. The whole time. I like those. those. The yeah, but Em, like, this is a total disaster. We should really imagine it done. It would be so satisfying. Come on. What would you do? How would you organize it? Well, first you need to get more of these shoe things because, no, like, because what is this shit? No, you need to get rid of half this crap up here. What? You never wear any of I this. Do. You don't. I do. No, you don't. You wear every single thing here. She's left the room. <laughs> I do. You actually don't, though. So if I pulled out anything random here and said, when was the last time you wore this? You would say in the past six months. Yeah, but six months is recent. Yeah, you, every single thing here you've worn in the past six months. More or less. What about the next cupboard? Same thing. What about the cupboards downstairs? No, those are just summer clothes. Okay, so all your winter clothes are here and you wear every single thing. There isn't one thing that you don't wear. Well, I rotate them. Well, why don't you, the stuff you don't wear, put in boxes? Or, you know what, all your like drawer, you have a whole drawer here dedicated to tights. And you have a whole drawer dedicated to belts. You don't even wear belts. I don't have a drawer dedicated to belts. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> you literally could maximize the space. And also like, don't you want to see your handbags like all laid out? No, it's fine. I can find them when they're squished. <laughs> no, but they need room to breathe. Come on, Em, please. No. Why? Not. What would you do if you just came home and one day I had just done it and then everything was organized and neat? No, what you would you do? Know where anything goes and then I wouldn't but know where Em, anything nothing goes. goes anywhere. There are shoes falling out of the sky in this cupboard. It's fine. They'll fall out of the sky, then I'll put them back again. This is a total disaster. How do you convince someone to like do this? I don't know. You need the Anna edit. These are cute. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Okay, but Em, seriously. Come on. What is in all the boxes <laughs> behind shoes. here? Yeah, but then how do you get to those shoes? I just remove all the mm -hmm. stuff on top and then very slowly inch open the box to see what's inside. Normally I photograph the shoes inside so I know what's in Do you look like really curious about what's in my hand and it's nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing's in my hand. <laughs> oh no, 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 squishy! Squishy! Hey, squishy! She sent us some of us downstairs, didn't she, Duke? She was not happy with our analysis of her cupboards. But anyway, I was messaging Hannah. <laughs> Hannah was like, I finished all my work for the day. Should we do this tonight? And then when my mom saw that, she banished us downstairs. Didn't she, Duke? 
She wasn't very happy with us, was she? Hannah says we should do one of the other rooms. So now my dilemma is, do I wait half an hour for Hannah to come home? Probably be an hour. Or do I go to my flat and start making dinner? <laughs> What's that weird shadow? What is that? Is that a shadow? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going against the rules and I'm whispering because <laughs> Hannah was like messaging me and she was like, we should start on her downstairs cupboards, which are the summer ones. Cause I feel like she wouldn't mind cause she's not using the stuff right now. But I wanted to show her one example of like a storage solution for her shoes because everything right now is just like a total mess. I'll put in a picture now of what it looks like before. Anyway, what have I started? I've like unpacked all these shoes and I'm gonna try and arrange them better into this space here. It goes down a bit further that way. Wish me luck, let's see. <laughs> actually haven't removed anything and now that all fits so much better and we even have like a whole row here for just shoes oh my god she just came in and i showed her what i did with these two and she gave me the go ahead for up here and we told her about well i told her <laughs> we i told her about the sparking joy thing from the mary condo anyway i'm now surrounded by all of these shoes and i'm gonna try sort this out guys look at these throwback gucci shoes look even their logo is so different here look at that isn't that so cool not gonna lie i'm pretty proud of my work i'm gonna show you now this is the after right here we have nude heels strappy shoes on top and down here is wedges and down here is like more wedges and then some funky shoes as well and then the only ones i couldn't store were these three pairs these ones i need to ask her about and these as well which are like more winter shoes come and see my art but be honest look oh wow oh that's amazing and the only ones i haven't stored are these pairs we can put these ones in the corner in the back yeah. and these are the ones she's voluntarily not under any pressure <laughs> No right. Pressure, no, no, pressure. Pressure. no pressure. Gotten rid of. We're gonna give these away. Wait, Em, um, you already gonna wear these? No pressure. Probably not because they pinch Oh, okay. Should we put them in the pile then? <laughs> and then what do you want to do with these? Because they're kind of winter shoes. They're lovely. I should be wearing those now. Yeah, exactly. So I thought you don't want to put them in the summer cupboard. I don't have them upstairs. So just put them here somewhere. <laughs> Well, when we do upstairs, we'll have room. Look, you only got rid of stuff you wanted to get rid of. Mm. And you can see everything. Mm. That's really nice, thank you. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's like a L'Occitane hot air balloon. But how do I take this out? That is so cute. Wait, how does it come out? What's in here? Wait, come out. Oh, Velcro. That is, oh gosh, there we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look how cute! We call this outfit festive casual wear. And this is actually a new jumper, but it's so festive. Look at it, and I love the color with my hair. I don't know why, I feel like it really complements each other. You can actually kind of wear it off shoulder, or you can have it off both shoulders, or you could just not have it off any shoulders. I'm wearing these cashmere pants, which I literally got when I was in school. I can't even tell you how old they are. They're kind of bald as well, but they're so cozy. Sorry, my feet and my chest are so red because I just had a shower and I put my showers really hot. Frizzy and weird. If anyone has tips for growing out your fringe, please help. <laughs> anyway, let's go and see what my mum is cooking for dinner. Moment of truth awaits. Oh, wow. It smells so good. Shoulder of lamb. And it'll what have you put on this? Um, cumin, pomegranate molasses, salt, and mixed spice. That's oh, all. easy. Yeah. And it stays in the oven for about three hours. Yeah. At 160. Mm -hmm. And then the last hour, you can uncover it and just brown it. But in actual fact, I kept the cover on and it stayed brown. And then cool. this is some yeah. spinach and pea soup. Mm -hmm. And of course, Rice. Right. <laughs> it's supposed to crumble. Yeah. Okay. Crumble. No. Doesn't really look like crumble. Yeah, it looks oh, wow. It just blends off. Yeah. Cool. Oh my 
my mother's like a little bunny rabbit. I'm like loving this lab. It's so good. And actually, I'm not a red meat eater. Yeah, you don't really eat meat. I don't eat meat, but this is amazing. It's honestly so good. It's so yummy. And so easy. And this is something so nice that you can make, that you can eat cold. And just shred it. And you can make it into a sandwich. Or, or put it in a salad. Or put it's it in a salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How not to treat your dog. He literally goes nuts when we finish the meal because he knows he's gonna get a snack. Stop trying to pretend like you're disciplining him. We know you just give it to him straight out. Stop! You're so mean. If you're gonna make him misbehave, you might as well do it properly. Your shoes are so cute. Thank you. They're very comfortable. They look cute. That's it now, Nauts. No more. No he more. won't look at anyone else now. He won't. He's in love. Bless you. We're just looking at my mom in this hat. She's actually freaking out. We can't see how much volume she doesn't have. <laughs> ATM. This, this is, is the really only nice time you'll ever see you. her with semi-voluminous hair. It suits you. Do you think? Yeah. Here, let's put it on you. You'll see. Let's put it on you. Oh, oh, oh. It is cute, isn't it? How pretty is that? It looks so festive. Festive, festive, festive. I just got home and my flat is a nightmare. <laughs> Look at that over there. Oh my God. The Cardo guy came and I was mid phone call. So I just like chucked everything on the floor. Put some shit in the fridge, but put the rest of it on the floor. Total and utter disaster. Also, this jumper is actually quite long and I'm wondering if I can wear it as a dress. <laughs> if I stretch it down, which I think I totally could. My bum is like there. Nah, I don't think I could. Maybe with like a skirt over it. Anyway, <laughs> time to <laughs> Sort this out. If you put on some Christmas songs to make it better. No. Oh, this one, this one. Ready? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. So now I'm sitting in my office, everything is tidy. And I actually had a lot of questions on Twitter about my upload schedule for this month. I'm doing every odd number day, so every other day. Vlogish, most, it's like every other day. Anyway, I wanted to tell you today's giveaway. If you don't know, I do giveaways in every single one of my vlogs. So make sure you stick around. Sometimes they're in the middle, sometimes in the end, sometimes they're in the beginning, you just never know. Today, I'm giving away this amazing Burberry festive pouch. It has three gorgeous products in there. There's the Fresh Glow, which is amazing the Burberry blush eau de parfum and the liquid lip velvet which I love and the second thing in the giveaway are these which I mentioned in my last vlog but it's a set of three it's a terribly velvet rouge and they're some of the most gorgeous lip products ever they're kind of like creamy velvet glossy balms I can't even describe them but they're so pigmented if you want to see what it looks like check out my last vlog I feel like vlogmas is basically just me in my bathroom doing my makeup and taking it off <laughs> Oh, it's honestly where I spend most of my time. Anyway, I'm using Clinique. Lids, lashes, and lips. How cute. Alliteration. Very good, Clinique. Someone commented the other day being like, I feel like your bathroom is like when you get the chattiest. And I do. I feel like it's that end of the day, like, deliriousness that I get. And all this, like random babble crap comes out. I have an event tomorrow that I need to, do you just hear that? That was Duke fart snoring. I mean, it's a snore, but it sounds like a fart. And that happened today on a conference call. It happens on the calls all the time because he always wants to sit on my lap and then I don't want him to, I don't want him to like not sit on my lap because I love him sitting on my lap. So I take the risk. I always take the risk if he's gonna go like, <sighs> but like sounds more like a fart than that. <laughs> And uh, and he did that today, and someone was like, "Was that your dog?" I was like, "Oh thank God!" <laughs> I was like, "Yes, it was." What was I? Go I was gonna say something. Oh, I'm trying a new moisturizer, which is this Dior one, which I got in my Dior advent calendar, and it's their Capture Total. And I don't know if this is risky because I have an event tomorrow morning, so I could wake up with a whole face of spots, but I could not, and I could look glowing in the morning. So I hope it's the glow, not the spots. Obviously. <laughs> I guess you'll have to stay tuned till the next vlog to find out. Could wake up looking absolutely awful, but I hope not. I hope not. I have faith in Dior. Okay, I'm using my Elemis cleanser yet again. 
which I love. I can't tell you how many people have tweeted me or messaged me saying that they bought this and I love it so much. Don't you ever look at this and then be like, wow, God, that can't be good for my skin, can it? It's so gross. Do you know what else I'm loving? It's in my bathroom cupboard right now. This from Kiehl's. The Nourishing Dry Body Oil. Okay, can I just tell you something? It's actually really good and smells good, but is it possible to pull this muscle here? Because I feel like I have. <laughs> Sounds so lame, but every time I do that and reach for something, it really hurts. It's either that or I've got a piece of glass stuck in there from the other day with the baubles. Hoping it's the first thing, not gonna lie, but is it possible? I feel like if I had a piece of glass stuck in there, it would have gone red and like a little ball of pus or something would have formed, but it really hurts. I don't know if all that tree maneuvering <laughs> really took its toll on my thumb muscle. <laughs> this should just show you how little workout I'm doing right now, that my thumb can't even handle it. The stress, the stress, I was going to say the stressure, the stress and the pressure of, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, of the tree. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Okay, moment of truth. Does anyone get rid of these things or do you keep them on your moisturiser? I sometimes keep them. Is this going to break me out or not? Stay tuned. This is as interesting as my vlogmas gets. <laughs> Am I gonna freak out or not? Wow, guys, <laughs> taking on a serious roller coaster of this vlogmas. Right, that actually synced in so nicely and it smells really good. Then I'm gonna use, someone commented that actually also, I do read all your comments by the way, saying I should do it upwards, not downwards, and you're right, I should. Darfa all day eye refresh gel cream. It should say all day and night, shouldn't it? I'm putting them on at night anyway. Wow, nice and light texture. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, bye. Officially done with me to leave. Mwah. Bye guys. What's that song from Friends? You thought Phoebe would leave, but she just stayed and stayed. <laughs> That's me right now. I actually realized I need to fake tan my face. So I used some of the Clarins drops on top of the Dior thing which could have been a disaster it could not be who knows but actually you know what I realize I'm so lazy with my fake tan look at my hands you can't really tell now but maybe you can I know how to do it properly to not get this but I'm so tired I put it on last night but I'm so tired I was like can't be bothered to moisturize before it'll look crap but it will fade <laughs> not thinking like Amelia you're going to an event Probably need to look good. Probably not need to have orange hands. Hopefully by the time tomorrow comes, it will have faded because I feel like on my hands it fades really quickly, like literally in a day. So I feel like by tomorrow, my hands might look semi-appropriate. So um, just wanted to tell you that in case you noticed my hands and you were like, why can't you fake tan properly? I can, <laughs> I was just lazy. <laughs> I'm officially gonna go now, bye. <laughs>